there, it's Thursday. We are going to make mole today. We are going to make mole in minutes. We're gonna do a quick personal taco. We're gonna do a bit of a slaw and we're gonna do it all super fast. All right, so in the microwave already, I've got a yam cooking in my steamer. It's gonna cook super fast because it's in the steamer. So we'll show you that in a minute. Hey, Marta, hey, thanks for the review, Marta. Totally appreciate you taking the time to do that. Let's check our yam. So our yam has been in for four minutes. I know that's not going to be enough time, but I'm not sure exactly how long it time, how long it is going to take. Hey, Deborah. Okay, so we have not even started cooking this yam barely at four minutes. So we're going to put that back in. It is a huge, huge yam. So we're going to put that back in for another five. And I apologize for like the blurriness at the top of the screen. I cleaned my camera um, a million times and it's no better, so I give up. Oh, well, Jana, that's exciting. I'm so glad you're here. So while my yam is cooking, let's quickly talk about this month's Epic Box. If you don't have your Epic Box yet, this is the, wait, hang on. This might be last month's, let me see. Oh, that's last month's Epic Box. Just a moment. Hey, Angela. This is this month's Epic Box. We will come back to the Epic Box probably next week. Uh, but this week, I really want to talk about mole because it's only available for May and or April so that you can get it in time for May for Cinco. So we're going to do mole today. Last week, we did some peanut sauce with the lettuce wrap seasoning. Lots of delicious things in here. Um, I don't want to give the secret away, but the Epic Box is 10 different flavors every month. So you get seven meals, a dessert, a surprise, something, and a dip sample. So 10 flavors for $32 American or 35 Canadian right to your door. So that's very cool. So tonight we are using chocolate. And I know my daughter said to me, chocolate, so she's making herself a personal taco because She's never had mole, wasn't really willing to take the chance for that as her dinner. So, you know, it asks for semi-sweet chocolate. Well, I'm just throwing in some bloody chocolate chips. It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to go find something fancy. I just happen to have some chocolate chunks here. So that's what I'm using, okay? Super basic. So let's start on this sauce. I have glasses. I'm actually gonna make it the way the package says, oh, I can't see you guys when I put my glasses on, because I've never actually had this one before. So I want to actually do what it says for the first time, but sort of what it says. So it says, combine mix with a tablespoon of natural peanut butter. Well, you know what? I got tahini. In my book, tahini hands down crushes peanut butter. I love me a good tahini. If you're not super familiar with tahini, tahini is the sesame paste. <laughs> oh, Jana, you're killing me. Tahini is the sesame paste, is like basically the peanut butter of sesame seeds. I love that you pronounced it bowl, because how do you know? Okay, so I have a cute story for you. So I considered myself, you know, quite the foodie, quite the little bit of a snoot. I go to this Epicure function, and they've got veggies and dip. I've never seen this word pronounced. I've never seen it said, and it was written down. And I'm being like the fancy food person with like the 40 other fancy food people way back when Epicure was tiny and there was like 40 of us at a gathering. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I look at the veggies and dip. Oh, cool, crudites and dip. That's what I said, crudites. I was super, super embarrassed when the person next to me spelled that way, crudite, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> it's not a crudite, it's a crudite, <laughs> well, pardon me. So, <clears throat> you know, if you've called this mole, you're in good company because I called it a friggin' crudite at an Epicure foodie gathering. Okay, so I have got some, <laughs> we're gonna use tahini, 
and our mole sauce. We're gonna go with, a, it says a tablespoon, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of extra because you know, that's just what I do. Okay, now what else does it say? Water. Okay, so I've got some water. Did anybody else ever say something so dumb? <laughs> yeah, we've all done it. There was, a, there was a few seasonings that came up. You guys, you know what? We had Chipotle before Chipotle was a thing. Like way back before it was in Subway, before Chipotle was known because Sylvie crushes on food trends. So we had Chipotle seasoning and I swear, like every single consultant and customer was like, what's this Chipotle thing? And like Chipotle, the restaurant was not a thing. Like this is how trendy Epicure was. And then like two years after we got Chipotle, we started seeing it in restaurant menus because Sylvie was there. But yeah, everybody wanted to get them some Chipotle. I mean, nobody even knew what the heck it was. Okay, so we've made our sauce. I've never made this before, so let me just taste my little deliciousness, see what I've got so far. Mmm, oh, oh, that's fun. Okay, yum. Okay, so we're gonna cook this uncovered. Here we go. We will swap it. We will check our yam. We will put in our mole sauce. Um, I think it said three minutes. Okay, let's see what it said. Did it say three minutes? Yeah, three minutes. It says three minutes and 30 seconds. We'll check it. Okay, so now let's check our yam. We have got our yam here. Oh, my yam is done. Did you see that? Done. Beauty. Now, I saw a recipe one day and I laughed and laughed and laughed because this recipe said, are you ready for it? <gasps> Bake your yam for an hour. Anybody who has a purple people feeder is never going to bake a yam for an hour. This is one heck of a hot large yam and it's cooked. Okay. Now, the other thing I have here is I have poblano chilies. These were on clearance today for perfectly lovely, crispy poblanos. So I am totally going to stuff my poblanos with my mole sauce. So that's what we've got going on here. So purple people, yes, purple people feeder is good for squash too. Very good for squash. Mary loves to do her, her um, spaghetti squash. She's the queen of spaghetti squash. So this is just two poblanos. Poblanos are a super mild pepper, um, mole poblano people might have heard of. It's a mole made with poblanos. So this is just me using the poblano basically to stuff. Uh, butternut squash too. Yeah, totally all the squash. Yeah, poblanos are like mild, mild, mild. Mild, mild. So they're basically just like a peppery vessel. Okay, so we're going to set these aside. We're actually going to bake this in the oven. We're going to roast it. Uh, so let me just set these for a moment. Let me show you my daughter. So my daughter, well, let me just show you my daughter. Let me show you what my daughter's doing. So my daughter wanted a taco. Yeah, <laughs> mother. How dare you notice that my arms are not long enough to read my packages. <laughs> okay, so my daughter wants tacos. So we're taking one beef patty, throwing it in a steamer when the microwave is ready. We're going to cook it all in the steamer, top it with fajita, and she's going to be ready to have tacos for one in like seconds. How easy is that, right? So we've just got that on hold because our microwave is in use. So let's chop up. So this is cooled enough now. So you notice I did not, not when I hold it for a long time, I did not peel my yam before it went in. Okay, do not peel your yams. Check this. Okay, hello. You guys, like that's freaking magic. So you cook it in the steamer and then it just peels itself. Like, is that not the easiest way to peel a yam you ever did see? Yeah. None of this peeling and nonsense and effort and hour in the, hour in the oven. Your steamer all the way. Oh yeah, we're totally gonna eat the skins. We're totally gonna eat the skins. We're gonna chop them up. Uh, yeah, 
I scrubbed my yam beforehand so that I could eat my skins because they are the most nutritious and delicious part. My dog used to fight me for the skins. So what I want to do with the skins is I actually want to oil them and I want to crisp them up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this needs a little bit more time, but I think, hang on. Okay, mother, I'm going to put my glasses on. Um, oh, okay. Whisk halfway through, so I've already missed that direction. Now it says to turn in, stir, stir in sesame oil, but I already used sesame paste. I usually used tahini. So I don't really feel like I need to stir any sesame oil because I already covered the sesame part off with doing it with tahini. Okay, so chocolate. Now I made sure to measure my chocolate and I made one extra so that I could eat it. Okay. Of course, I ate a few more before I measured them as well. Just for good measure. I'll make sure it's good enough chocolate. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that sit in there. I'm gonna cook Alexa's burger. We're gonna go in. Fully frozen burger. We're gonna start that on one minute. Okay, let's get to business here. We're peeling off our skin. We're gonna oil that a little bit. And I am just gonna rub it with guacamole and put it on the on my cookie sheet for the last few minutes, okay? So I've got my hands are all greasy now. Let's get a bit more of this delicious skin. I want it all in one nice big piece. Again, that's just peeling the skin right off of... Okay, here we go. Peeling the last of the skin. Ha! Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me, <laughs> that was hot. Okay, so let me just put it on there. Okay, let me just get the rest of my skin off. Whew, that's bloody hot. Ha! And now I have like a big orange log. Okay, here we go. Now I wanna just get the rest of my skin off so I can just oil it up a little bit, get a little crisp, crispy oil on there. Mm -mm -mm could be the best part. There we go, I need a cloth. Just oil, I'll just de-oil my hands on a cloth. Put a little chipotle on there. I mean, not chipotle, sorry. I, that would be good too, wouldn't it? Hey, Mariah, love you, darling. Okay, so we're putting guacamole on here. So basically everything I'm using tonight is in the uh, good Mexican collection, except for the mole, because Cinco de Mayo is coming up. So now is the time to grab all your items for Cinco de Mayo. Let me just bring something. I need a plate, I need something here. I'll just move these off to the side. So now is the time to grab your items. So you are all set for May. My sauce is, my chocolate has melted through nicely. Let's check my daughter's burger. Okay, you can see one minute. Your burger is perfectly thawed. So if you want to cook a burger, here you go. Costco Sirloin Burgers, one minute in my steamer, perfectly thawed, ready for cooking, okay? Now, of course, she could just make a burger, but her favorite thing is a taco. And her favorite way to make a taco is with Epicure fajita seasoning. Got to get past that light. I hate this light. Anyway, we're just, whoa, I'm just going to sprinkle on some fajita seasoning. And then I'm just going to take my ground meat separator and I'm just going to beat this apart. There we go. Start breaking it up so it can start cooking. Now it was a tiny bit frozen in the middle, but the ground meat separator does not care. I totally could use my tongs. That would be a very good idea, Mary. Mary's so smart. Okay, here we go. Beating up a little bit. It's going to go back in. One more minute, my table stayed cleared because I didn't touch it with anything. Okay, so now what I want, let's put this together, okay? My sauce might need a little bit more. Let me just make sure my directions are done. I'm not making this up, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, that's it. Oh, yummy. I feel like I should have done it with broth. And I feel like I could handle a little bit more chocolate in there. So 
So I'm going to add a little bit more. And I might have put too much water because it's kind of thin. So I think I did not measure my water correctly. It's tasty, but it's not as intense as I would like it to be. So I'm going to add a little more chocolate. Oh, and I didn't salt it, you know, and that does make a big difference. So I'm just going to use whatever kind of epicure salt I have here on the counter or garlic or whatever. That's going to make a difference. you got to have some salt. At least I got to have some salt. Okay, so that's still hot enough to melt the rest of the chocolate. Let's try that. Mm, yep, the salt was part of what it needed. Okay. Check on my daughter's burger. That was one more minute. It's mostly cooked. I'm going to get this a little crumble for the rest of crumbly action here. So this is just the taco that we're making her until she realizes that mole is delicious and she should be eating that. She did all the dishes when we came home from a day of running around, so I'm very excited that all I'm doing is cooking her this, because I didn't have to do any dishes. It's like, uh, yeah, let me cook you some meat that's going to take me about two and a half minutes instead of doing dishes. A hundred percent. I'll be happy to do that. So we're going to go back in for one more minute. Who else would take that deal? Cook somebody a uh, meat patty in three minutes rather than doing the whole sink full of dishes. Mm, hell yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing with in my poblanos, I have got my diced yam. So I'm just gonna put chunks of yam in my poblanos. I'm gonna put chunks of chicken. I'm basically putting everything right into my poblanos, covering it with the sauce and then roasting it in the oven until the poblanos soften up. So you're not gonna see this completed because I'm not gonna hang out with you while I roast, but you'll have seen the rest of it. I could just put it together with the chicken right now and call it done. But I totally want to finish this. And I'm gonna take you all for a little tour. Okay, here we go. Oh, Joelle, you know what, Joelle, we gotta get you to leadership because then you can come hang out at my house in September. Hey, Joelle? Let's make that happen. So, cannot wait for my September leadership retreat here in beautiful Cove Cottage. Okay, here we go. There, now I'm gonna save the rest of this for tomorrow. That's gonna be breakfast. Fry that up with some butter in a little pan. It's gonna be so good. Okay, here we go. I've got my poblanos. Let me get the uh, extra yam off my hands. Lex, your taco's done. That was easy. Okay, so that's done. Oh, I guess I could show you. So there we go. We've got her beautiful brown taco meat. She can drain off, but it can just sit in its own juices while it sits there waiting for her to want to eat it. So that's ready to roll. Okay, now. Costco rotisserie chicken leftovers. Your meat's done. Costco rotisserie chicken, super easy. Chop it up. Put it out on your poblanos or however you're doing it. If you're just doing rotisserie leftover chicken and mixing it with your mole sauce, have at it, whichever way. Oh, I wanted to put this back in because I didn't put it in as long as they said and it needs a little bit more cooking time. Of course, you could just follow the directions from the very beginning. That's always wise. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Yummy yum. There we go. This is lovely. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Now, I need to put these on a cookie sheet. Cook a burger patty not chopped up. Yeah, I could totally, you could totally, totally cook a burger not chopped up. And you know what? That one actually thawed and totally fit on the bottom. <clears throat> I did not toast my poblanos. Normally I would, but I, I've actually seasoned it, so make sure you taste what? it. Okay, so I'm actually gonna roast these in a 400 oven. So that's what I'm gonna do to get these sort of roasty poblano-ish that I want. So I'm actually gonna go into this old steamer that was a host special because it's nice and low. I'm just gonna pack this in here. Um, if I'd had like barbecue action, I totally would have loved to have roast these before. It's so much, I can't even get it all in, you guys. Okay, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, how am I gonna make this fit? I really want to make this fit. Okay, well, it's not the prettiest shoving of the things in a steamer that anybody's ever seen, but it's gonna do the trick, okay? So there we go, I've got my steamer full of poblanos loaded with ingredients. Let me get this stirred through. I wanna make sure that this is properly thickened before I put it on. Because I think, as I mentioned, I put the wrong amount of, of um, stuff in it, wrong amount of liquid. So I might have to add some more sauce. Let me just taste. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that one's right. Okay. Hey, hang on. Secret things you can't see. Oh, never mind. I have another one on the counter. Oops. I just got a boob full of chocolate. Okay, look at that beautiful avocado. Of course, she's going to mix that with some guacamole seasoning. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more mole thing in there because I'm pretty sure I put in the wrong amount of liquid because, you know, my arms weren't long enough for me to read properly. So we're going to just do that. And there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, whisk, whisk, whisk. Okay. Gonna, oh, it's already thickening up and like getting luscious, I can tell. Okay, one more minute in the microwave. Okay, so this is going to be my good food, real results, balanced meal because I've got all of these vegetables. I, two of these is one meal. So what I did in each pepper uh, for the grand total, I have got two portions of chicken and two portions of, of starch, so two portions of yam. So two of these is one meal, and then I'm going to do it with a little bit of a slaw on the side, and that's going to totally cover all my veggie portions with the poblano and the uh, pepper. So what I'm going to do, not, this is not a pepper. Cabbage. Cabbage, thank you. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit of guacamole on there. I am going to take my lime. Did you steal my lime? Nope, nope my lime's right here. Never mind. I'm, I'm accusing her of theft and she hasn't touched anything. Uh, mole, you know what? It's got like a little bit of an anise undertone. If you like Mexican, you would love mole and you don't have to add the amount of chocolate. Like I like extra chocolate because, you know, chocolate. Uh, but you certainly don't have to. So this is just a quick little red cabbage slaw with lime, olive oil, and guacamole seasoning. Mmm, nice and bright. I wanted something um, really sort of a, with a pungent punch to balance the rich creaminess of the mole sauce, and that's going to be a perfect counterpoint. Okay, here we go. Putting on our mole there. See, it's thinning, it's cooking up. Ooh, baby. Okay, this is making me happy now. So mole, there's all sorts of different kinds of mole. Um, this one is, I don't know how I would describe it. I would describe it as mole, because mole is just so unique. But let me see if I could do a better job of that. Mm. It's like warm and earthy with that like under note of chocolate. Let me, I'm gonna have a better. She, she might have a better, needs a little bit more salt. What is it? There's a little bit of a niece. You have an undertone of a niece in there. She's trying to think of what the word would be to it describe it too. Of, um... I've got my salt. I'm not putting a ton of salt. My salt is on like powdery dust setting. Reminds me of that chickpea hummus, the chocolate. Oh, the chocolate. it reminds her of chocolate chickpea hummus. So I'm just gonna pour my sauce the on there. Hummus. And I'm going to finish it with fresh cilantro, uh, some fresh, uh, I don't have Mexican queso, but I'm going to finish it with some crumbled um, frozen feta, which actually takes like the consistency of a queso. The Mexican, whatever the proper Mexican cheese name is, I'm probably doing that wrong, but anyway. Okay, here we go. So these are my chocolate poblanos. So now you can see 
that that's not the prettiest color, is it? Right? So hence, finishing it with that and some feta and some cilantro is going to just balance out all of these colors, you know, put some... Yes, anise is like a licorice flavor. Is that what you were tasting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was tasting the... I'm presuming it's anise that's in there. Um, okay, there we go. You know what? I think I need more sauce. You know, because why not? Just why? It's like chocolate that I can have that's almost like guilt-free chocolate. Neutral. I mean, not all chocolate is guilt-free, but chocolate that's part of my dinner? Um, hell yeah. I'm all about that. Okay, so there we go. That's done. That is ready for the oven. I'm going to eat that little piece of mm, that yam. Now, it's going to go in the oven at 425 for like 20 minutes or so. And these are just going to go in. This is the yam skin that I rubbed oil on and then rubbed guacamole on. And those are going to go in for the last five minutes as like a crus crispy oh crunch. No, crispy crunchy. She doesn't get any because she's not having mullet. No sharing. Um, anyway, crispy, crunchy yam skins is what we're going to have for that. So there we go. This is done. Found a random piece of chicken. Let's throw that on there. Um, so this is mole stuffed into poblanos. I'll let you know what it tastes like. I might come back live when I pull it out of the oven and show you as I dress it all up and serve it up for dinner. So stay tuned. I might be back. Otherwise, I'll drop a photo. Thanks, everyone.